one of the wealthiest and most prestigious schools in our area. Now, two men who spent their childhood at New Jersey's Del Barton School are speaking out against what they call a culture of sexual abuse of students. James Ford has the in-depth story. The school should be in lockdown right now. Police tape should be surrounding the Abbey until all these questions are answered. Bill Crane and his twin brother Tom say they were sexually abused at the Del Barton School when their family lived on campus in the late 70s and early 80s when their father was assistant headmaster. But they say the abuse didn't stop then and that they've just filed a lawsuit against the Catholic Church-run school in order to get tough questions answered. Those priests there know of individuals that have abused children. Very hard to ever really be tired at Del Barton. Specifically, this man, the two brothers say, Reverend Luke Travers, who ended up becoming the head of the school, abused one of them, and another minister, Justin Caputo, abused them both. They were touched on their genitals on many occasions, according to documents regarding their legal case, and they had access to unlimited porn kept by many members of the faculty who lived in St. Mary's. Mary's Abbey, which is on school grounds. The school has said it is not officially commenting while this lawsuit is pending. But the two men who were boys at this school say Del Barton is covering up the abuse that happened to them. And they believe current students at the All Boys School are being victimized. We're not here to take down Del Barton School, but to protect those kids that are there right now. Remember Governor Chris Christie using a state helicopter to attend his son's baseball game? That was a Del Barton game. His son is a student. Christie said the allegations are inexcusable if true. How to know for sure? Have everybody involved speak at trial? says the brother's attorney. It's the only way for their, them to have a voice. James Ford, PIX11 News. Well, do you have...